Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking to you from a typical American home in Hyannisport, Massachusetts. Since January of 1960, this family of smiling and happy people <laughs> have undergone a change. You might say they've been engaged in a new and different type of experiment. Sir, as head of this average family, what was this new experience undergone by you and the members of your household? Well, after uh, two years of brushing with the Crest toothpaste, our group... <laughs> Our group had 21% uh, fewer cavities with Crest. <laughs> this shows a uh, rate of uh, economic growth, and therefore, it is not with uh, too much concern that I say a uh, raise from uh, 25 to 35 is not completely out of accord when compared with the uh, current uh, financial deficit on hand. Now, I trust that answers your uh, question about your weekly allowance, Caroline. Uh, next, uh, next question. Yes, I should like to ask a question about... Would you uh, stand, please? <laughs> yes, I should like to ask a question about... Would you identify yourself, please? Uh, I'm your wife. And I should like to ask the following question. No, speak English, Jackie. <laughs> I noticed that you didn't touch your salad, either at dinner tonight or at dinner last night. Would you tell us why, please? Well, let me say this about that. Now, number one, in my opinion, the uh, fault does not lie as much with the salad as it does with the uh, dressing being used on the salad. Now, let me say that I have nothing against the dairy industry. However, I would prefer... I would prefer it if in, if in the future we uh, stuck to coleslaw. Next... <laughs> Next question. Uh, yes, the uh, baby in the back row, uh, baby John. <laughs> well, I, uh, I believe I answered that, uh, that question at dinner last night. <laughs> now, if you, if you remember, here is what I said at that time. Oody wadi body biddy doo, di wadi da, goody wadi woo. Yes, uh, next uh, question. Yes, I should like to ask a question regarding the daily bath. Identify yourself, please. I'm the house nurse. All right, uh, nurse, uh, <laughs> move ahead uh, with your question. Well, there seems to be some confusion as to the toys to be taken into the bathtub. Now, Caroline's toys are getting mixed up with John's, and I should like to know once and for all whose toys are who. Yes, well, let me make a judgment about that now. <laughs> The uh, following toys have been appropriated for tub use. 18 PT boats, three, uh, three Yogi Bear uh, beach balls, two Howdy Doody plastic uh, bouncing clowns, a ball of uh, silly putty, and a rubber swan. Now, let me make a uh, judgment on the dispersal of these items. Nine of the PT boats, two of the Yogi Bear uh, beach balls, the uh, ball of silly putty belong to uh, Caroline. Nine of the PT boats, one of the Yogi uh, Bear uh, Beach Balls, and the uh, two Howdy Doody Plastic Bouncing Clowns are Baby John's. The rubber swan is mine. <laughs> next, uh, the next question. Your wife. And in regard to our grocery bill, I think the food prices for this house are way out of control. Would you care to comment on that? Yes, let me say this about that. Now, I noticed the other night we had the King Shard and all of his wives to dinner, and you served the uh, 79 cent spread instead of margarine. <laughs> now, I think you overlooked a considerable saving there because you really can't tell the difference between margarine and the higher price spread. And believe me, if you can, uh, King Shard can't. Uh, time for a one uh, final question. Me, 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 Daddy. I, I had my hand up first. You did not. I had my hand you up first. You did not, first. Caroline. I, I had my hand up first. You did not. I have my hand up no, first. No, I want uh, I want you youngsters to uh, stop fighting uh, among yourselves. So go ahead, Bobby. I uh, think you were first. <laughs> Well, I, I should like to uh, straighten out the... Would you stand, uh, please, Bob? <laughs> well, 
I, I would like to discuss a yesterday's Earth Touch football game with you. Now, on three uh, different occasions, I was tackled. Once by uh, Senator Dirksen, once by uh, uh, Senator Goldwater, and once by uh, Mr. Hoffa. Now, as Attorney General, I can tell you that a, uh, a tackle in uh, a touch football is illegal, and you should uh, have called a penalty. Yes, Bob, uh, you are the Attorney General. But when you play here, you play by my rules, or you don't play at all. <laughs> and I guess you know why. But uh, why? Because it's my ball, that's why. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, sir? The Malayan ambassador for dinner. One moment, sir. The Milan ambassador for dinner. The Milan ambassador for dinner. <laughs> the Milan ambassador for dinner. Daddy, it's the Milan ambassador for dinner. <laughs> Tell him it's tomorrow night. get away alone. Tomorrow. I, I promise tomorrow we'll go away together uh, tomorrow. No more family for a while now, I promise. Now, uh, turn off the light. Good night, Jackie. Good night, Jack. Good night, Bobby. Good night, Ethel. <laughs> Good night, Dad. Good night, Teddy. Good night, Peter. Good night, Dad. Now, Cooper, we're here to prepare you, so pay attention. You've only got a few minutes. Grissom here and Glenn and Carpenter and Shepard and Shira have all been through this, so uh, they can fill you in. Glenn? Well, Coop, it's the start that's the problem. Uh, you've got to relax. The initial force takes over, and then all you have to do is guide. Uh, Shira, you had a little trouble with the suit. Why don't you tell Coop about it? Well, uh, I figured that the suit was too loose. Uh, I'd recommend making sure of a really snug fit. Uh, Carpenter? Uh, the most important thing is not to panic when you fall in the water. Just settle down and wait, and somebody will be sure to pick you up. You got it, Coop? Well, I'm, I'm grateful for the advice, fellas, but to tell you the honest truth, I'm scared. But you all went through it, so I guess I can. Good boy, Coop. Now, you ready? Ready, Mr. Webb. Okay, now get down to the dock and put on your water skis. Jackie's waiting. <laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, fill her up, please. Uh, just uh, this car? No, uh, all 70 of them and the... Uh, <laughs> and the uh, motorcycles. Yes, sir. Uh, by the way, do you uh, give uh, green stamps? No, no, sir, we don't. Forget it. Mr. Pablo Casals. How do you do, Mr. Casals? Hello, Pablo. Welcome. Mr. Leonard Bernstein. How do you do, uh, Mr. Bernstein? Hello, Leonard. Nice of you to come. Dr. Albert Schweitzer. How do you do, Doctor? Hello, Albert. Hope you had a nice trip. <laughs> Jackie. Yes? Why is it always your friends? <laughs> Good evening. 
This is Charles Collingsworth at the White House in Washington, D.C. For many of you, this will be your first visit to this historical landmark. Our tour through these hallowed halls will be conducted by the First Lady. Good evening, Charles. Good evening. Shall we begin here in the West Wing? Yes. If your cameras will just move through these oak panel doors over here on our left, we will be in the Calvin Village. <laughs> was named after our 35th president. I can't help but wish your cameramen had opened the doors before they moved their heavy cameras through them. The doors, incidentally, were a gift from Mrs. R.C. Greenleaf of Raleigh, North Carolina. They were made out of solid oak, and up until a few seconds ago, they stood over 15 feet high. <laughs> They were lovely. <laughs> now we are approaching the Thomas Jefferson Room, which I think you'll find rather interesting. President Jefferson used to come into this room and sit for hours just gazing out the window at the White House lawn. The White House lawn was a gift from Mrs. W.C. Ridgway <laughs> of Hollyhock, Virginia, the president and I decided to leave it just the way it was originally. It's lovely. <laughs> this football, which has just come crashing through the $5,000 President McKinley French windows, belongs to the current president, who, of course, is also my husband. He's lovely. <laughs> Now we're entering the President Grant drawing room, which I think you'll find rather interesting. We decided to leave this room just the way it was when President Grant left office. I do notice a lot of dust on the furniture in here. Yes, and that dust was a gift from Mrs. C. <laughs> Landon of Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. Now, if you'd care to follow me down this hall to the next room, as we go, I should like to point out the various paintings on the wall. Yes, I wish you would point them out. Well, there's this one, and this one. <laughs> and that great big one over there, and this little teeny one down here. <laughs> And finally, this one, over here. Thank you for pointing them out. <laughs> What's in this room over here? I believe we are standing in front of the President Monroe Conference Room. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. <laughs> it's so easy to get confused. It's such a big house. <laughs> Now, I believe straight ahead of us is the blue room. Yes, this is the blue room. We decided to leave it just the way President Blue had it originally. <laughs> now we are in the east wing. This is the section we are having completely remodeled. All the rooms are being changed around. Yes, the carpenters certainly are busy, aren't they? Aren't they, though? And those carpenters were a gift from Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Al Bianchi of Hayworth, New Jersey. I find it quite easy to get lost in this section. Yes, I imagine one could get lost in here. Pardon me, pardon me. I seem to have uh, made the uh, wrong turn somewhere. Now, I'm trying to uh, find the bedroom. I just came out of the uh, John Hancock bathroom where I was uh, taking a shower in the Alexander Hamilton bathtub. And I think the that... The carpenters and painters here have been just the, uh, working place. like beavers around the clock. We hope... We hope to have it finished Which in way babe. is the, the bedroom? The bedroom is where? Actually, the original schedule didn't call for it to be completed until July. But the work has gone I, don't, I should like to point out that I am... Uh, I, am uh, I am standing here in my shorts uh, dripping wet. Now, I've... Uh, 
I've got an important conference in uh, 15 minutes, so I must be dressed in uh, 10 minutes, which means I shall have to uh, move ahead uh, toward our bedroom with great vigor. Excuse me, Charles. Here, go down this hall to the Andrew Jackson smoking room, then turn right into the President Taft Rumpus room, a crossover through the Woodrow Wilson ping pong room, then left at the Dolly Madison Pinnacle Room, <laughs> through the President Grant drinking room, past the Richard Nixon dumbwaiter. <laughs> And that's our room. Well, let's see. Now, I go past the uh, D Dolly Madison ping pong room, across the uh, Richard Nixon, the drinking room, and then I go left with the Andrew Jackson room. Uh, wasn't that your husband? Yes, it was. He's a magnificent-looking man. Yes, and we decided to leave him just the way he was originally. <laughs> Incidentally, he was a gift. That's nice. <laughs> uh, we return you now to our studio. The following is a public service announcement. Election day is near. Go to the polls and vote. Vote for the Kennedy of your choice, but vote. Do you really think you can get away with this? Well, Pierre, I've uh, been criticized in the newspapers for the big parties and the uh, state dinners. Now, we've got to cut down and economy starts at home. Uh, all right, if you say so. Oh, here they are. Uh -huh. All right, uh, gentlemen, uh, let us be seated. Uh, Mr. Adenauer, if uh, you will sit uh, next to your uh, friend, Mr. De Gaulle. And uh, Mr. Uh, Castro, if you will sit here next to your friend, uh, Mr. Khrushchev. Mr. Anasha, if you will sit here next to uh, Mr. Ben-Gurion. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, sh I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Nkrumah, if you will sit in between Mr. Ben-Gurion and Mr. Nasha, then uh, you can uh, turn either way. Now, uh, Mr. Uh, Shankai Shek, would you uh, please uh, sit there beside Mr. Khrushchev? Oh, good. Now, uh, before we get down to the business at hand, I think lunch would be in order. Now, I thought that instead of the uh, formal food we usually serve here, that we would have a uh, typical American uh, businessman's lunch. So I'm going to send down to the delicatessen store for uh, some sandwiches. Well, how does that, uh, how does that strike you, gentlemen? Uh, 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 Mr. Khrushchev, Mr. Khrushchev, would you, uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but would you mind uh, just taking your shoe off the table? <laughs> I think uh, I'll have a uh, peanut butter and jelly on whole wheat with a uh, side order of a uh, coleslaw and a hot fudge uh, sundae. Uh, Mr. De Gaulle? Yuck. <laughs> I would like to have dove under glass. Well, I'm uh, sorry, General, but uh, we're only having sandwiches today. Then could I have a dove under glass sandwich? All right, uh, Pierre, a uh, chicken salad on white for the general. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sh <laughs> Shankai Shek. Uh, club sandwich would be fine. Thank you so much. Would you like it with a uh, little mayo? Please, not to mention that name. Uh, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Mr. Uh, Nasser. I'll have a hot pastrami sandwich. I can never get it at home. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what kind of bread? White toast with lettuce and uh, mayonnaise. Uh, Mr. Nasser. What do you want, Ben-Gurion? Look, I, I know we don't get along. You never listen to me. Now you're fooling around with rockets. But this time, please listen. Pastrami don't go with white bread and lettuce and mayonnaise. <laughs> Have that on rye bread with mustard and a glass tea you'll enjoy. <laughs> I think that, uh, I think that Mr. Uh, Ben-Gurion has a point there. All right, All right. I, I'll, I'll take a chance. Good boy. And if you like pastrami, next time you're in my neighborhood, drop into the house. My wife makes like a filter of fish. It melts in your mouth. We'll have to get together, Mr. Ben-Gurion. My name is Ben-Gurion. You can call me Ben. My name is Abdul Nasser. You can call me Abe. <laughs> Good. Now, uh... Fine. Mr. Uh, 
Mr. Khrushchev. Oh, you don't have to order a special for me. I'll have a bite of everybody else's. <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Uh, Adenauer. You have one sandwich here in America I love. I have a Western sandwich. If Adenauer has a Western sandwich, then I'll have an Eastern sandwich. There is uh, no Eastern sandwich. Then I want the Eastern portion of his Western sandwich. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm uh, sure, I'm sure we can uh, negotiate on that subject. Uh, Mr. Castro. No pregunte qué su patria puede hacer para usted. Pero pregunte qué usted puede hacer para su patria. I have a chicken sandwich with a live chicken. Well, uh, well, that leaves uh, Mr. Ren uh, Krumer. What will you have, sir? I'll have some watermelon. Don't put me on, Mr. Negro. <laughs> All right, all right, a ham and egg sandwich, and a Coke. And I guess a bowl of borscht. Okay, okay, uh, Pierre, uh, put the rush on it. Well, we got <laughs> well, uh, gentlemen, that was a uh, pleasant lunch. Now, uh, under discussion today will be a nuclear disarmament, followed by the UN bond issue and a uh, matter of the trade agreements. Now, first, there is a most important matter to settle. Uh, Mr. De Gaulle, yours was the chicken salad and coffee. That's a dollar forty. <laughs> What do you say, Dexon? Will you make up your mind? Well, sir, I think that two million is much too much. However, sir, I do think that the residual benefits to be derived from this project would more than compensate, sir, for the original outlay of funds. I see. Uh, Mr. Rosk, what do you think? Well, sir, I do not go along with Mr. Dexon. The residual benefits are beside the point. It's a dangerous move. I'd like to say something, if I might. Must you, Lyndon? <laughs> well, sir, I don't think that either Mr. Rusk or Mr. Johnson here have the right, sir, to advise in this particular matter. I do believe, sir, that the decision is up to you. And if I may say so, you are holding things up. I think this truly calls for an immediate decision on your part, sir. Ev, uh, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> but, uh, okay, here's what I'll do. I'll sell you a boardwalk in Park Place <laughs> with uh, two hotels on it. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you. Go right ahead. Hold it, hold it. Where are you going? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I I didn't recognize you, sir. No one is admitted beyond... Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. Yes? Oh, it's, it's you. What is it? Can Caroline come out and play? <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, young man, but she can't. She's in Italy with her mother. Well, then, what's Lyndon doing? <laughs> Now down onto the floor for this week's press conference. Yes, well, there is no uh, opening statement. I think I will just take the uh, first question. Lloyd Smith, Washington Daily Herald. Uh, sir, would you comment on the African situation, please? Well, now I'm not up to date on that. <laughs> now, uh, I sent a uh, personal representative to Africa uh, some months ago. So far, she hasn't even dropped me a card. <laughs> Yes. Uh, Arlo Sievers, National and International Post Dispatch and Farm Bulletin, Weekly Morning Press Gazette and Daily Bugle. Oh, hi. Let me say this about that now. Uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you for coming to my paper. I didn't get to the question yet. Uh, the question is, any 
comment on the charges that your family has a dime to say. Well, they're false. Now, I don't believe in those charges, and neither does my uh, brother Bobby nor my uh, brother Genghis. <laughs> Uh, yes. Sir, we understand that on-the-spot nuclear inspection might not be necessary. Do you have a new way that we can tell what the Russians are doing without actual on-the-spot inspection in the Soviet Union? Yes, we are asking everyone to uh, be very, very quiet. <laughs> Uh, not you, sir, the, uh, the lady behind you. Sir? Yes? When will we send a man to the moon? Whenever uh, Senator Goldwater wants to go. Would you like your son to be president? Definitely not. I think he should finish school first. <laughs> Yes. What are you going to do about the medical care for the aged? Try to stay young. <laughs> I think we have time for one uh, final question. Yeah. Yes. Now that you're in office, what do you think the chances are for a Jewish president? Well, I think they're uh, pretty good. Now, let me say, I don't see why a person of the uh, Jewish faith can't be president of the United States. I know as a uh, Catholic, I could never vote for him, but other than that... <laughs> I worked three months on the creation of this dress. I believe, uh, how you say, madame, it is you. Uh, a Jacques original for you, eh? Ah, merci, Jacques, très bien. I believe you're right, Jacques. I like it. It has a very distinctive air about it, and yet it is conservative. I like it. Ah, you make me so happy. I have thought and thought, and I have decided to name this after you, the first lady, eh? Merci, Jacques. Mm. I don't like to tell an artist what to do, but I wondered, would you mind if I made one small change? Could you remove the top button? Ah, madame, a wonderful idea. Of course, that is the touch it needed. Mm, merci. I think I'll wear it tonight to the embassy ball. Au revoir, Jacques. Oh, madame, madame, you make me so happy. Mm, Mrs. G, rip the top button off those 5,000 first ladies and put them on a rack. <laughs> Watch me the uh, magazine section of the Times. I'm doing the puzzle, darling. Well, then uh, give me the uh, book review section. Here you are. Isn't it nice being here alone on a Saturday night? Just the two of us for change? That's what you said last Saturday and the uh, Saturday before that and the uh, Saturday before that. Uh, you want to see a movie? Fine. There's a wonderful abstract Swedish picture playing. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> I know where there's a good Italian movie playing, seeing as how you uh, like foreign films. Wonderful. Which one? Hercules, starring uh, Steve Reeves. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. Well, there, uh, there must be uh, something to do. I just uh, feel so guilty just sitting here, like I'm cheating the country. <laughs> you want to go bowling or something? I can't. I lent Ladybird my ball. <laughs> what are the Rusks doing? They're always entertaining. We could call them and you could feel them out. I'll call them. <laughs> Mr. Rush, please. The President of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Dean. No, no, it's uh, not an emergency, not a big one. Well, I wanted to uh, know uh, w what's going on there. I hear noises and laughter. Oh, a party isn't that nice. The Rusks are having a party, Jackie. <laughs> I was just uh, telling Jackie that you were having a party. Yes, uh, she's here, here with me. We're uh, home alone tonight. Just the two of us. She and I, no one else, alone, the two of us. 
What? What did I call about? Oh, it's uh, not important. I'll discuss it with you on Monday. Yes, thanks. Oh, and Dean, if, if you get any uh, political questions that you can't answer, be sure and call me, because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Jackie and I will be home, alone. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll tell you what. Let's call up for a pizza. I can't do that. I can't uh, call up and say, this is the President of the United States. Send up a sausage pizza. Just to... Don't tell them who you are. Just tell them to send it to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. I don't know if I can do that. Well, let's do something. I don't want to stay home. I'm sick and tired of staying home and staring at these same 100 walls. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Elcha. It's Elcha Maxwell, Jackie. What? You're having a uh, party and you wonder if by any remote chance we uh, happen to be free. Free? Oh. Jackie and I on a Saturday night? You know, Elsa, sometimes I wonder about you. <laughs> We're uh, having our own party. Can't you hear it? Jackie, laugh it up. <laughs> hear that, Elsa? <laughs> that Adlai, uh, he's uh, such a cutie. He always makes Jackie laugh. <laughs> just, uh, just a minute. Uh, yes, uh, thank you. I will have some more champagne and uh, fill the Maharaja of Baroda's glass. <laughs> Don't forget the Maharini. Oh, oh, Elcher, I uh, have to hang up. Uh, the Humphreys and Goldwaters are at it again. <laughs> Goodbye, Elcher, and thanks for thinking of us. Pass me the uh, magazine section of the Times. I'm doing the puzzle, darling. Oh, then give me the uh, book review section. <sighs> Isn't it nice being here alone on a Saturday night? Just the two of us for a change. Acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind. All right, uh, Jackie, you take it here. Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang All right, uh, Caroline, now you come in. For all lang syne, my dear. Everybody take it uh, together with vigor. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for all All right, all right. Now let's remember the number to call in New York is El Dorado. <laughs> Yes, uh, go to sleep now, Caroline. Uh, Daddy uh, tucked you in, and you've had uh, three glasses of water. Now, good night. Tell me a story, Daddy. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's uh, late. Just one short story, Daddy? Oh, all right. Uh, just one. Tell me my favorite story. Uh, about the tall man? Yes, with all the hair. Well, there was this uh, tall man with, with a, a lot, lot of hair. hair. And uh, he was prince and a great warrior. And the people of his uh, country uh, picked him to be their leader because he could uh, protect them and lead them on to the uh, new frontiers. <laughs> Tell me about when he had the trouble. Well, uh, Caroline, first he had the trouble with the steel duke, and then all the uh, money lords... <laughs> then all the uh, money lords uh, gave him trouble, and then all the other lords wanted to uh, take his uh, job away. But when he talked, everyone uh, believed him, and he remained as their leader. Now, one day, the evil prince with the black beard from the island in the south and the, uh, <laughs> the terrible fat bear from the cold north came and they tried to hurt the prince. But the prince was too smart and he chased them away. So the handsome prince and all the people of his country lived happily ever after. Oh, I was scared. But hooray for the prince. And thank you, Daddy. Good right. night. Good night, uh, Caroline. Good night. <laughs> These sessions do him so much good. <laughs>